FM, my name is Drew, and this is Michael making a rude gesture at the mailman who delivered the news late. Anyways, let's look at the news for today. The War of 1812 still rages in North America and the area around Quebec. While the casualties mount on both sides, America and Britain are continuing to fight for their own rights and power. Yes, indeed, but to make matters even worse, British Commander General Robert La Ross led British troops to Washington Monument as they, as they have burned the White House down. Yes, they have burned the White House down. There's been one reported death so far. Many American eyewitnesses witnessed this act of revenge, and there are few theories on why the British pulled off such a large scandal. At the moment, their suspected motive was to get revenge on the raid of Port Dover. Lately, many battles have been happening around the Lake Ontario area, such as the Battle of Fort Erie, Battle of Fort George, and the Battle of Queenston Heights, where Sir Isaac Brock led the British troops. To hear more about his death, join us in the newsroom chit-chat at 12.30. Near Washington Park, residents are now scared of a further attack after the mansion was damaged. Contractors say the building can be fixed, but it'll take a lot of time and money. Now we go to one of our reporters in the field, who thankfully is braving the threat of imminent death to bring us the latest on this story. He is outside of the damaged building, which has recently set fire. Yes, the British indeed. Things are getting pretty ugly out here. Whoa! The British were seen entering the city of Washington, D.C. with torches and gunpowder. Though, though at this moment this hasn't been confirmed, the, mo the, the rumored motive on the attack is revenge uh, for the attack of the city of York in the raid on Port Dover. I see people running for their lives, carrying over the children in their clothes on their backs. Okay, well, back to Michael, Drew and Michael in the news station. My name is Owen Rocky, reporting from Washington, D.C. Oh, okay. That's all the, for today, guys. All right, let's conclude today's news. The presidential mansion was torched by the Brits. 30 are dead after an ex ex accidental explosion in the U.S. The negative effects of the Battle of Queenston Heights are starting to come into the light. And finally, General I Isaac Brock was killed during this battle. The weather is coming up next. Don't go anywhere.